Okay, this video is about programming your calculator. A lot of you will probably hear programming, oh no, this sucks, I don't want to do this. But, it is really useful and it helps you cheat, kind of, depending on how you use it. You can use it to help you cheat if you want. But, it also makes doing big equations lots faster. Uh, the program that I will show you today, at least in this video, is a very basic program. Uh, it does the quadratic formula for you. So, to start out a program, you go to Program, and go over to Create New, hit Enter. Now you have to name it, which you just, there's little green letters here. And then you click those. I'm just going to type it since I can't see that at all. Calculator is tiny, and if it breaks, alpha, quad. One of these times it will work, I promise. Alright. Quad form. So, you name it that, because it's a quadratic formula. To start off, you have to, you don't have to, but it would help to give your, um, to set the mode for your program. And since there's a chance that there's non-real answers, you want to press this button, A plus B, I, which allows your calculator to display non-real answers. Now, the for second thing that there is, is a thing called a prompt. It's under the I.O. input-output thing here, so you scroll over. And down one, down one to prompt. And once you click that, you can enter in letters. So I can have it prompt A, B, and C, because the variables in the quadratic formula are A, B, and C b squared plus or minus the square root of whatever it is. It's b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this, when you run the program, it'll have a little a with a question mark next to it, and then you enter the number that the a equals. And you'll be able to see it once we actually run the program. But that's just what it does. It, it it's asking you. It's it's having you assign a number to the letter. And the other thing, one of the other things that the program does, is us um is doing equations. So the equation for the quadratic formula is uh, x equals negative b plus or, or minus. But you can't do plus or minus, so we're going to have to have do two different equations in here. But plus or minus the square root, just plus, of b squared minus parentheses 4ac, and close all of the parentheses, divided by other parenthesis, 2a, close it, and now the when you run this program, it'll use the variables that you put in, and it'll run through this program, and it'll, it'll put the numbers through this equation, so if you put 1 for b, 2 for a, 4 for c, it'll plug those in. And then there will be an answer, but it doesn't know what to do with that answer, so you put this, push this little store button down here with an arrow next to it. And then you have to store it to a variable, so let's just say we want to store it to variable y. So now the answer to this problem is stored under variable y. You press enter to go to new line, in case you hadn't figured that out yet. Uh, now you have to do the other part of the equation, so negative b minus the square root so on so forth minus square root b squared minus 4ac 
parenthesis C divided by two A and then we would want to assign that one to let's say Z. As long as it's not Y, it's fine. Because you can't overlap variables because that'll just erase the one that you already had and that kinda defeats the purpose of having the first one, so you want to use a different variable. Now, to display the answers, the final thing you do is you go to program, you went to a new line, you go to program, go over to IO, and then there's display right here, you want to click display, display, and there's, uh, it can, the program can display a bunch of things, but three main things are like, you can have it display words, which is what we're going to have it do here. So, to display words, you have to start it off with a quotation, and we'll have it display answers, answers, quote, end quote, and then you have to end the quote, so that it knows when to stop. And then you put a comma so that the next thing displayed is displayed on the next line. If you don't do a comma, I don't know, it just breaks or something. Then you want to display variable y. That's not in quotations, so it'll display the uh, number value of y, which would be the answer to the first, first problem here. And another comma, the next line, and then it'll display the answer to the second one. So now it'll display two answers, and now you're done. So you hit second quit, don't hit clear, because that'll clear everything. Now you have a program, quad form. So then you hit enter again. Then you have a equals, so let's say it's x squared plus 2x minus 1 or something. So 1x squared plus 2x, 2x minus one and those are your answers this is your prompt here so when you prompt the prompt part of the program you have prompt a that prompts for a and then one gets assigned to a when you enter it prompt b gets assigned to it prompt c gets assigned to it and then it runs it through the equation that's the answer to equation one that's the answer to equation two that's Definitely not all you need to know about programming, but that's the very basics, and this works for many programs, many many equations, I should say, so area of a triangle, or any area, things, perimeter, so on and so forth. Anything that you're using for that, you can just use that.